what is up everybody welcome back to the channel and if you're not welcoming back to the channel well welcome to the channel for possibly the first time my name is Rishraf and today we're going to be going over some different ways on how to give your players some money now this giving money system is very simple it's just a couple lines of code and I'm going to be showing you the simple ways how to give your player money via leader stats. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first thing that we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is we're going to be going over the touched function. I think I've done a GUI touched like this before, and you guys can learn from that video as well. So I just, as you saw, I just inserted a random part here. And the name doesn't matter. We're just going to say money giver. And as you can see, I have my leader stats in the server script service. Now I call my currency money. Now common misconception is that this variable name has to be the same thing as here. No, it, it does not have to be. And we're going to be going over what you have to do to access this. This little um, variable name does not really matter. I'll make this see real quick. Okay. So this is basically a simple leader stats. We're going to be calling our currency money. So remember, this leader stats is not save. I should make a leader stats saving system, actually. So how to get a player from a touch event. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert a script into this. And because a lot of I've, the reason why I'm making this video is a lot of people are wondering, after my videos like box delivery and stuff, how do I give my player money after car system after blah 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 how do I give my player money so this is exactly how you're going to give it so we're going to say script dot parent dot touched touched is you already know the built-in function of Roblox we'll say function and the standard is to use hit so I'm going to be using hit and if uh, I like to use parentheses but a lot of you are getting confused with those so I'm not going to use those and if hit.parent find first child, I'm going to be getting into the components of what every scripting does. Uh, just let me know if you guys want to see that, like the basics of scripting. And then we'll say if and local player equals, once we have local player, we'll go local player service using lower camel case, by the way. And then we'll do local PLR equals player service get get player from character. Say so hit that parent. There. Simple as that. Now you now have the player. So it's so simple, guys. You guys can integrate this in anything. It's one line of code. So you guys need to understand. That there's players and characters. I should also make it. I should make so many videos now. I do apologize, guys. I was like on vacation. Then the riots thing broke out. So I was like, what the heck is going on? And all this stuff. And I really just could not make a video. And then I got an LSPDFR. And then I was focusing on that and modding. And then I got in my game Koji. And then I was and then I was coding um, for hours at a time. And I wasn't really. And then I was working on the race system. The race system is coming soon, by the way. I do apologize. But let's build some hype and tension up for that video, everybody. So this one line of code, without further ado, I don't know why I keep talking. This one line of code is PLR dot leader stats. And I'm going to go and open up the leader stats. It's lowercase here. And it's lowercase here. So we got to keep that consistent. Dot money. And as you can see, we use dot money, not dot score, because score is a local variable. We don't need that. We need dot money. Make sure it's spelled the exact same. Dot value because this is an int value. And notice how we use score.value, so it's money.value. We have to have dot value equals. Then this is the exact same. So you can't just do player's money plus five bucks. You can't do that. You have to say player's money equals player's money plus five bucks. It has to equal it plus it. It's kind of weird. So then we'll say plus, and then we'll just do like 10. That's fine. So when we hit this, we're going to get 10, 10 score. Okay, 
And you can add a debounce in there because when I do this right now, I'm going to touch it multiple times and then I'm going to get more than 10. So you see my money is zero right now. And I'm going to go and touch this. You see how my money just keeps climbing? It just keeps climbing. That's how you do the touch with the brick. If you want it one time, all you have to do is say uh, something like hit. You can add a debounce bool. So say like, um, so you say if debounce equals false something like that then and then you just said debounce debounce or sorry debounce to true here and then you would just say has it been ha basically has it been touched already so we have that now let's move on to the giving player via GUI for the purpose of the demonstration I'm just going to be making a simple screen GUI with a little text button in it there we go. I have this little button here. I'm not going to customize it whatsoever. And I might as well just put the local script. It has to be a local script. If you're in the UI phase, I'll put it with as a child of the screen UI, not of the button. So we'll say script dot parent dot text button dot on mouse or sorry, we'll say on so we'll say mouse button one click connect built-in function you already know say function now if you want to give it to the local player you don't have to add a parameter here all you have to do that's the gift of with roblox lua is it's so easy to define variables and what you have to do is just say local pilar equals game dot players dot local player and boom you have the current player playing your game so now it's just like the money giver script which I'm gonna open right now it's just like the money giver script I can literally just copy this basically you just have to get the player and and honestly I could do the same thing for the for the money giver touched script I can do local player equals the actual player and then give them money that way I just chose to do it via touched because you guys can un understand and learn more that way so now when i when we try this out real quick as soon as i load in the game it'll react the same way so i load in and then i click this and notice how my money it just keeps going up i keep clicking my money goes up and it's just like that the click animation may not always show like the pressed because that's on roblox's side but i can just keep pressing this and now my money keeps going up that's another way the third way is via on clicked. So let's head over there. Now, when you're dealing with an on clicked part, I'm going to go ahead and insert another part into the game. Now, it's the same exact thing. Now, my job is not to teach, is not to show you code and you guys just copy it. Say money clicker. My job is to teach you how it works. So we got to insert a click detector, obviously. And then we'll insert a script into the part which I believe my computer's glitching out. And now we have click detector and script as a child of money clicker. And it's just super simple, guys. Say script dot parent dot click detector. And then once we do that, it's built in function say say click dot click. And you guys can also make it a, a, a right mouse click if you want. Let's say mouse connect function. And honestly, it's this easy. Add PLR as a parameter. And then it's just literally, you guys, it's so simple. Click it, 10. Click it, click, 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 spam click. And that's the three basic ways how to give your player money. In case you guys were wondering, race systems coming within the next few weeks it, probably about a week now watch time is very important to me in this channel because it allows me to unlock new features of youtube kind of like a video game and i would appreciate like so much if you guys just keep watching the channel get my watch hours up watch time really appreciate that if we can get right now i'm about about 1500 hours of watch time in the past 12 months if we can get that about if we can get that to raise 100 100 hours after this video, which I know we will. We're at like 1,528, which I know we will. If we can get that to raise about 100, 150. If we can get about 1,700 total watch hours 
I mean, just keep watching my videos, everybody. If we can get 1,700 watch hours, and I will keep you guys updated. I'm not going to lie. Car fuel system will be enabled. It will definitely be enabled, and I'll get that guy. I'll get that for you guys. Uh, I got to redo everything. I got to figure it out, but just for you guys. If you guys got any suggestions, let me know. I'm going to be going over some more basic code as well as some more advanced stuff. So let me know if you guys want to see basic or advanced how to make stuff. Uh, have a good day, everybody, and peace. Uh -huh.